The sediments are now piled up on the flank of the mountain and ready to be transported towards their final destination, the sea. This is the distributory component of our source to sink system. Using the theoretical knowledge gathered in previous models, we will follow the path of these sediments and discuss the changes they experience during this trip down to the sink. Valleys in the high mountains are typically steep. Precipitations are erratic and characterized by relatively dry periods interrupted by brief by very intense precipitations. Change can occur on a seasonal basis, but also at longer wavelengths. During the periods of heavy precipitations, huge amounts of water will flow along the mountain flanks and reach the valley. Water level will rise, and because the section of the valley cannot increase, velocity becomes very high, and most sediments on the slope will be transported away. When precipitations go back to normal, waters will flow regularly, and clean sediments falling from the slopes, carrying away all the grains that can, and leaving behind only those which are too heavy. A short time after the storm, waters are clear. Away from the steep mountains, valleys become wider, and Braided River system develop, characterized by a network of uh, anastomosing channels and large amount of sediments dispersed on the valley floor. During periods of strong precipitation, the abundant and sediment-loaded rivers fill these wide valleys rework a large portion of the sediments present and deposit part of the load they have. In more quiet moments, waters will flow and astomose in channels, removing all the sediments they can carry and leaving the rest behind. The waters are again clear and channels do not change. Sediment deposit in Braver's system characterized by a complex architecture with coarse permeable lithologies intercalated with finer grained, less permeable ones. Exploiting this reservoir is challenging. A major change occurs when the river exits the steep part of the mountains and enters large valleys within the chain or even the plains bordering the mountain themselves. At this transition, the slope of the river decreases substantially and the section within the river can flow becomes very large. As a result, the rivers charged with water and sediments during periods of high precipitation experience a dramatic drop in velocity and correspondingly of carrying capacity, suddenly dumping most of the sediments they have. When floods pass, waters flow along non-perennial channels, locally cleaning the sediments. These systems are alluvial fans, sedimentary systems of great importance because on the whole they have large permeability and very advantageous for water and hydrocarbons. The cartoon you see in the slide provides a scheme for the understanding of sedimentary succession associated with alluvial fans. The fan has a triangular shape with the apex placed at the exit of the valley in the plain. From here, waters during normal precipitation period flow along distributory channels. Grain sizes change from the apex to the foot being coarse grain at the top and finer grain at the bottom. Sorting is in general poor because sediments have been dumped in it quickly. In the vertical section, you can recognize the convex shape of the fan and the trace of distributed channels active during fair weather conditions. Having deposited most of the carried sediments in the alluvial fans, the rivers enter then larger and wider plains. Processes and deposit taking place here will be shown in the next video.